Hello, my name is Teresa Snyder Leiby. Welcome to today's introductory webinar for GeneMarker HID human identification software. GeneMarker HID software is an expert system used by forensic laboratories worldwide for human identification. During this webinar, we will start with an overview of the program and then walk through the steps for genotyping single source samples in detail. During this introductory webinar, we will cover the details of setting up user management, saving parameters for expert system analysis, and using the linked navigation to review and export results. Details of advanced topics, such as mixture analysis, the database search for reference or family members, which is helpful in cases of missing persons, unidentified human remains, paternity or immigration situations. Kinship analysis provides identity by descent calculations across three generations and automated pedigree drawing and trio paternity testing calculations. There is also an administrator and a validation tools section. These are all topics of separate webinars. GeneMarker HID is an expert system for human identification genotyping from short tandem repeat or STR data. The program is compatible with all CE instruments and human identification chemistries, providing rapid, accurate size and allele calls. The user-friendly linked navigation decreases analyst fatigue and saves time. The program includes automated control and allelic ladder concordance checks and the ability to customize quality flagging parameters for each locus including settings for analytical range, stochastic range, and stutter filters, and heterozygous imbalance level. The user management function provides password access and control of access rights for each authorized user, and a complete audit trail for the analysis. GeneMarker HID contains several reporting options, including print reports, tables, and CODIS formats. To begin, let's activate user management by selecting Help and User Management from the upper drop-down options. User Management provides control of user access rights and generates a user and edit history for each project. The administrator enters the institution name, password, and activates User Management. Choose from a list of access rights for each authorized user. The operation history is recorded in the History tab. Settings include overtime protection and recording edit history of all actions, providing a complete audit trail. GeneMarker HID accepts files from all major capillary electrophoresis instruments, including FSA from capillary electrophoresis and 377 slab systems, HID, RSD, SCF or standard chromatograph files, and SG1 file formats. From the upper left corner, select Files and Open Data. Navigate to the Raw Data Files and Open. When all files have been selected, click OK to import them into GeneMarker HID. The center of the main analysis window screen contains a synthetic gel image and the electropharogram of selected files. The file name tree at the left contains the list of all sample and ladder files. To access sample information from the file, right-click with the mouse on the file name and select Sample Info for access to the sample information. Ladder, positive, and negative controls are identified based on the sample naming conventions. To set these for your preferred file name, click on View, Preferences, and the Forensic tab. In this example, PC is used for positive control identifier, NC for negative control identifier, and ladder for the allelic ladders. Select Project Run to activate the three-page run wizard. The first page contains preloaded analysis templates, or you can easily customize by creating a new template and typing in the name and selecting the panel, size standard, and standard color from the drop-down menus. Then click the Save icon to save the new template. The second screen is used to select corrections for most chemistry error problems, such as pull-up peaks, 
peak saturation, baseline subtraction, and spike removal. The peak detection threshold, minimum intensity, and percentage global max are applied to peaks that are outside of the marker boundaries. We will set the minimum peak height and other filtering parameters for each marker later in the panel editor section of this webinar. Select the appropriate maximum intensity per the CE instrument specifications. All peaks above the, this RFU will be flagged as HI or high intensity. The third screen has selections for auto-selecting the best ladder. This is especially helpful for projects with more than one ladder. The program will select the ladder that most closely matches each sample file when used with the Auto Panel Adjust selection. Select from the drop-down menu for positive control. Please use the Tools Positive Control Template Editor to add the appropriate genotypes for your laboratory. Peak quality is a sec peak score is a quality flagging parameter based on the signal to noise ratio and peak symmetry. Mixture evaluation is the topic of a later webinar. Analysis is rapid, typically taking about 20 seconds to analyze 96 samples. The file name tree at the left has two quality indicators. Red question marks alert the analyst that these samples have caused one or more of the analysis rules to be fired and will require review. The green sheet in front of each of these file names indicates that size calls were all of high quality. If the sheets were yellow, the size call should be reviewed. Or if red sheets were here, it would indicate sizing did not occur. Often this is the result of a failing capillary or not enough size standard loaded. At the bottom of the screen, we see a summary of the analysis, including the number of samples, positive and negative control concordance, ladder error, number of failed, and number of flagged samples. Icons of common interest include the trio of hide, show, toggles to remove the gel image, file name tree, or the report table. This would maximize the view of the electropharogram. Options for the allele report settings are activated by the icon above the table. The settings dialog box contains many options for the customization of report table columns. Use the multicolored icon at the top of the screen to toggle to single die views of each trace. The size calibration charts are activated by this icon at the center of the toolbar. As we see in this example, each file is listed with a quality score. The standard average, standard deviation, and standard minimum maximum are presented for each disabled fragment. By clicking on the file name in the list, the electropharogram of the internal size standard is displayed and the file name is in red font for the ratio plot. This screen provides verification that all samples in this project are in the linear range. The page may be printed directly or saved as a PNG image for verification of size. In this view, the synthetic gel image is turned off, the report table is in the vertical form, and the FAM6 or blue trace is selected. The latter error reported can easily be seen by zooming in. To do this, draw a box from the upper left to the lower right of the area of interest. When you want to zoom back out, just reverse this action and draw the box from the lower right to the upper left. The color coding for the latter error alerts the analyst and indicates that the peaks are in the expected bins, but that two of these virtual alleles have a higher than expected RFU. Yellow flagging in the report table to the right indicates that one or more of the analysis rules were fired for these peaks. Linked navigation in GeneMarker HID provides rapid access to these areas of the electropharogram. Simply use a double left mouse click on the yellow flagged cell of the report table to zoom in on this sample and locus. By using the peak table icon, we can toggle to see that the rule that was fired was heterozygous imbalance. In the upper right, the help icon contains a list of the quality flagging abbreviations. <laughs>